In this video, we are going to discuss about group two elements. Now we know group two elements also belong to S block. Now group two elements, they can also be called alkaline earth metals. Now, why are group 2 elements called alkaline earth metals? Because the oxides and hydroxides are alkaline in nature and these metal oxides are found in earth crust. So, they are called alkaline earth metals. Now, let us write the elements of group 2. The elements are beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium Ra. Now the general electronic configuration of group 2 elements is noble gas ns2 which means there are two valence electrons in s orbital of group 2 elements. Now let us write the electronic configuration where N stands for the period number and beryllium is in second period, then third, fourth, five, six, and seventh period. Now let's write the electronic configuration. First, let's write the noble gases helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Now let's write the outer configuration. Here 2s2, 3s2, 4s2, 5s2, 6s2 and 7s2. So this is the electronic configuration of group 2 elements. Now let us discuss the properties of group 2 elements as question answer model. The first question is the first ionization enthalpy of alkaline earth metals are higher than group 1. But second ionization enthalpy is smaller than group 1. So the question is about ionization enthalpy. The first ionization enthalpy delta H1i is greater for group 2. And the second ionization enthalpy delta H2i is lesser for group 2. Now you know that group 2 the electronic configuration is noble gas NS2. Now the first ionization enthalpy means the energy required to remove the first loosely bound electron. So the first electron has to be removed from the stable S2 configuration. So more energy is required whereas to remove the second electron you know that uh, when one electron is removed it gets the configuration as NS1. So, the second electron, if it is removed, what happens? It gets the noble gas configuration. So, the energy required to remove the second electron is lesser. So, that is the answer. Now, next, the hydration enthalpy of group 2 decreases with increase in ionic size down the group. So, you know that uh, smaller the size of the ion, higher is the hydration enthalpy. So, in group 2 elements, beryllium ion has the smallest size. So, it has the highest hydration enthalpy. Now, if we arrange the ions in decreasing order of their hydration enthalpy for group 2 elements, the order will be Be2 plus greater than, Mg2 plus greater than, Ca2 plus greater than, Sr2 plus greater than, Ba2 plus. Now, the compounds of group 2 are more extensively hydrated than group 1 elements. That is because the hydration enthalpy of group 2 elements are uh, larger than group 1 metal ions. Uh, because you know the size of group 2 metal atoms or metal ions are smaller than group 1 metal ions. Now the next question is beryllium and magnesium, the first two elements. They do not impart color to the flame. So beryllium and magnesium salts do not give any color to the flame. Why? 
because the electrons in beryllium and magnesium are too strongly bound to get excited by the flame. So, we know that only if the electrons get excited to higher energy level and when they come back to lower energy state the uh, la, uh, color is observed. Now, the next question calcium, strontium and barium, calcium, strontium, barium they give color to the flame and the color given by calcium is crimson red sorry calcium gives brick red brick red strontium gives crimson red and barium gives apple green these are the colors given by the salts of calcium, strontium and barium to the flame. Now, they will give color to the flame because in flame, the electrons are excited to higher energy level and when they come back to lower energy ground state, energy is emitted in the form of visible light which we see as colors. Now, next let us discuss the chemical properties of group 2 elements. Now, uh, beryllium reaction with water, beryllium and magnesium, uh, they react with uh, air and uh, water, with water they give hydroxides but they burn in air to give uh, oxides, beryllium gives beryllium oxide, then magnesium gives magnesium oxide, also with nitrogen beryllium gives beryllium nitride, magnesium gives magnesium nitride. Now group 2 element they combine with halogens to form halides that is metal plus H2 gives MH2. M is group 2 element and X is halogen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Now, uh, we have the structure of uh, beryllium chloride in solid state. So, the structure of BeCl2 in solid state. The structure is Be Cl Cl Be This is the structure of beryllium chloride in solid state. Now next is uh, except beryllium all elements combine with hydrogen on heating to form hydrides and hydrides have the general formula MH2 they form hydrides with formula MH2 and beryllium hydride can be prepared. So, uh, other elements when they combine directly with hydrogen we get the hydrides but beryllium is uh, cannot form hydride directly. So, beryllium hydride that is BEH2 can be prepared by the reaction of beryllium chloride with lithium aluminium hydride. The formula is LiAlH4. The name of this compound is lithium aluminium hydride. So, let us write the equation that is 2 BeCl2 plus lithium aluminium hydride. The product form is beryllium hydride BeH2 plus lithium chloride plus aluminium chloride. Now next is group 2 elements, next property group 2 elements react with acids liberating hydrogen that is group 2 element M can be any group 2 element plus 2 HCl gives metal chloride plus hydrogen is liberated. Now, next property is group 2 elements also have negative E0 value, negative E0 electrode potential value, but less negative than group 1. Okay, so this negative E0 value also shows that group 2 elements are good reducing agents means they can get easily oxidized by losing electrons. Now, uh, the reducing property can also be uh, due to the large hydration enthalpy associated with small size of Be2 plus ion that is beryllium has the less negative E0 value compared to other alkaline earth metals.
among group 2 beryllium ion has or beryllium has the less negative e naught value okay and what is the reason for that due to the high hydration enthalpy of be2 plus ion due to small size of be2 plus ion now next we have the uses of group 2 elements first use copper beryllium alloy copper beryllium alloys are used to prepare high strength springs then metallic beryllium is used to make windows of x-ray tubes then magnesium aluminium alloys being light in mass is used in aircraft construction next is milk of magnesia that is a suspension of magnesium hydroxide in water that is used as an antacid now calcium is used in the extraction of metals from oxides then radium salts are used in radiotherapy that is in the treatment of cancer now the next is about the anomalous behavior of beryllium we know that beryllium is the first element of group 2 so what are the anomalous properties of beryllium first is beryllium has exceptionally small atomic and ionic size then because of high ionization enthalpy and small size it forms compounds which are largely covalent and get easily hydrolyzed second behavior is beryllium does not exhibit coordination number more than four in its valence shell uh, as there are only four orbitals in its valence shell the remaining members can have a coordination number of six by making use of d orbitals now the last uh, behavior is the oxide and hydroxide of beryllium unlike the hydroxides of other elements in the group are amphotric in nature now the last we have the diagonal relationship between beryllium and magnesium sorry beryllium and aluminium so beryllium and aluminium shows diagonal relationship aluminium is in group number 30 now let us see what are the similarities between beryllium and aluminium like aluminium beryllium is not readily attacked by acids because of the presence of an oxide film on the surface of the metal beryllium hydroxide dissolves in excess of alkali to give beryllate ion and the formula of beryllate ion is BeOH 4 times 2 minus and aluminium hydroxide uh, dissolves in alkali to give aluminate ion and aluminate ion is AlOH 4 times minus now the next point of similarity is uh, the chlorides of both beryllium and aluminium have Cl minus bridged chloride structure in vapor phase both the chlorides are soluble in organic solvent and they act as strong Lewis acid. Lewis acid means electron pair acceptors. Now they are used as Friedel Crafts catalyst. Friedel Crafts catalyst. So aluminium chloride and beryllium chloride can be used as catalyst in friedel crafts reaction. Now the last point of similarity is beryllium and aluminium ions have strong tendency to form complexes. Complexes. The complex formed by beryllium formula is BeFO2- and aluminium is AlF6-3-. So these are the properties uh, or similarities between beryllium and aluminium. So with this we complete group 2 elements uh, of the periodic table, the properties of and uses of group 2 elements. Thank you.